Are you tired of wearing holes in your Garrett carrot and ruining it? Stay tuned. I'm going to show you a little hack that will prevent that from ever happening again. Stay tuned. All right, for this hack, you don't need but just a couple of things, and you can get them at the dollar store. A little super glue and get the liquid, not the gel. Make sure you get the liquid. Some of them say gel. Do not get the gel, the liquid. A little baking soda and a little alcohol. All right, let's get started right now. All right, what we're going to do is uh, put a coating on these that's going to be like rock hard. And so when you're, when you're pushing down in the sand and the grit and all, it won't wear a hole in them. Uh, a lot of us, we're out there in the rocks. We're out there in sand, we're out there in mud and grit, and it just ends up wearing a hole. Normally, right here on the ends where the hole ends up at, um, and it, once it leaks in here, it ruins the detector. And next thing you know, you either have to buy a new one or, or get it repaired or whatever. So, we're going to try to prevent that. I've got four of mine right here. I've already actually worked on two of them. These I have not done, so we'll do one of these just to show it So um, for demonstration. But on this one, you can see... I've got a little coating already on here, but we're going to put another coating on. i got one little spot actually right here that didn't get coated. Most of the time you don't wear it back in the back because you're pushing in right here and it wears a hole in this area right here. And I'll put a little bit thicker in that area sometime. We'll talk about that in a second, but let's just get a general coating on it right now. I'm going to do something a little different this time than I normally do. Uh, we're going to try a little experiment right here in the video. First thing you want to do is wipe it down. First you want to scrub it down and clean them really well. Uh, make sure they're good and clean. And then uh, what I normally would do is wipe it down with a little bit of alcohol just to make sure there's no grease. You don't want any grease or any any uh, foreign matters on them. So just take some alcohol and rub them down really good. Make sure there's no grease on them. It might look a little rough because these have been through a lot. I've been using them a whole lot. So uh, let's make sure we get all any kind of grease off. There shouldn't be any on it, but you never know. Uh, in the past, I've tried multiple things. Uh, you can see a little bit of black on here. I think I had some um, some kind of coating. I think maybe black electrical tape, and I used goop, and I've used a, a plastic cover on it. You can see right here where I actually glued a cover on it one time, and it's still it's still you know you lose the cover, then you don't have any protection. That's where that came from there. But I've tried a lot of things. This is the only thing I've found that works. Okay, before you get started. You might want to do a couple things because uh, super glue does have some bad chemicals in it, so you don't want to get on your fingers. You will glue your fingers together, so you got to be careful like that. That's why I'm going to wear gloves right here. And you don't want it splatting in your eye, eyelids, gluing something together, so that's why I'm going to wear some safety glasses too to make sure nothing gets on me. Um, just a couple precautions. Also, if you're working on a counter or something, I got a plastic underneath this and paper because it will. You know, ruin the surface uh, uh, area and all. So make sure you protect the areas that you're going to work on if you don't, unless you don't care about it, a bench or something. But something like this, I always protect it. So, anyway, before, let's get all that straight before we get started. Now, get everything on and let's do it. All right, I'm going to do something a little bit different this time, like I said. So, let's go ahead and get this started right now. We're going to do that. I got my glasses on. Let me get my. Get these on because I have gotten on my fingers before and it's not fun and you can't glue your fingers together so I would put some kind of protection on your hand just to keep it from uh, getting on you just in case all right all right what I normally would do is I would coat I would put it area where I want it and then sprinkle the uh, baking soda on it. and you can do that that works great but this time I'm gonna try something a little different I'm gonna go ahead and coat it and just dip it into the baking soda right here. So let's go ahead and get a coating on it. That way we'll get one good coat on it right off the bat. Let's see what we got. Alright, it's coming out now. So what we're going to do, we're going to just coat this entire area right here. And normally you don't, you don't have to worry about just the end, the end of it right here. Is where it's going to be at, right here. And I'm putting a coat on top of some of my coating already. So it's good, good and wet all the way around. Like that. Alright, I got a good coating all the way around. So let's just dip it right in here. And as you see, it's stuck to it all the way around. You just wipe off any excess. It almost instantly hardens on it and forms that coating right there. It's like concrete. This stuff, it's like concrete. You see right there? You can't, you, I mean, it's like concrete. You can sand it, but it's like concrete. So I just definitely just cover that up. And if you got certain areas you want to do more than others, 
for example, this ending right here. I got a little spot right here. I would put a little bit extra in that area right there. Get it good and wet. Take a little bit, sprinkle it on it. And that will put an extra layer on it right there. You can see it already starting to get a nice coating all the way around. And this is one I've already done. So let's try one that I've never done before. Normally, like I said, it would wear through in that area right there. But we'll go ahead and coat the whole end of it. This is actually not the Garrett carrot. This is the a Garrett, but it's not a... Um, this is one that you use uh, uh, in land. But you can waterproof these with, um, with a little bit of uh, goop on the uh, couple of fittings here. We won't go down this video, but uh, we're going to get that in there right now. We've got a nice coating all the way around it. Bam! Break it off. As you can see, it's got a nice coating. And that stuff is tough. I'm telling you, it's like concrete. And uh, what I would do in this case here, if this is a brand new one, hadn't done before, I would definitely re-emphasize re this area right here. This is where it always goes to, right in that area. I would definitely put several layers in that area for sure. If you want to kind of just keep doing it, you get this just builds up and forms that. that it's not nothing critical here. Just you got to worry about as far as getting too much on anything. And this stuff is sandable, so you can sand it. And you can take this and sand it down if you need to. For example, this one right here. If I wanted to take some down on it, you could do it. That stuff is sandable. Now. That works pretty good right there. And it, as you can see right there, I've got a coat on that already. That's a nice good coat on that. I'm going to go ahead and throw one on this one here too since I got it out. And get me a nice, uh, just a coat all the way around on this one. So I can protect, put one good layer on it. So when I'm out there in the field digging with, I do dig with it just a little. Sometimes, you know, you pry up the dirt. And, you know, anytime you do that, you're starting to uh, create a little bit of a wear on it. I've never been, done this different end like this. And I don't have a problem. I think, it, I think it's no problem doing that. Uh, let's see. Let's wipe this off. I got a little bit down below there. Let's get that off. Only thing I'm really concerned with is this end right here. And it's looking good. I'm telling you, you never have to worry about it again. You can sand it down if you think you got too much, but it, it's some good stuff right there. This is my backup unit right here. So, uh... I'll go ahead and put a little extra on this one too. And this one looks like it's, it's holding up well. It's probably been six months since I put any on it. This stuff lasts a long time. We'll lean it down so it doesn't run down the, the detector here. Get a nice coating all the way around on it. Get it wet. As you see, I'm dropping a little bit on the paper, but it's okay because we got plastic underneath of it. And it almost hardens instantly. It's going to get hard. It's a little bit warm when it hardens there, you can tell. But... That's not bad. I like it. Nice little bond there. All right. Well, we got that done there. But, you know, that's not the only thing you can use this for. If y'all want to hang around just a couple more minutes, I'm going to show you some other uses for cyanoacrylic adhesive, uh, super glue. It's called cyanoacrylic adhesive. And uh, the baking soda to repair other things around the house. Stay tuned. All right. Let's say you got something with the holes in it. Y'all see it goes holes in it right there. The first one, just an open hole, we're going to see if we can repair it. First thing we want to do is put a little crazy glue around it. We want to take a little baking soda, put on it, pull it off, put a little bit more on it. A small hole you can do this with. A bigger hole might have to do a little something different. Now, as you can see, that hole is sealed. Now, this hole's a little bigger, so what I did, I put a piece of tape on back here. To kind of so, so fill the hole up, but what we're going to do, we're going to take the crazy glue, basically put put some inside the hole, and what we're going to do now is pull it right in the hole with it, and that's going to instantly harden and seal it off. We still got some in it right there, so we're going to put a little bit more on top here. Get that down in there good, and we're going to throw a little bit more crazy glue on and uh, baking soda on it, and bam. That hole is sealed too, solid as a rock. Now we got a little bigger hole. Let's try that one. Put a little bit in the bottom. Basically fills it up right there. And when you put this baking soda in it, it instantly hardens and creates a filler right there. You can see it right there. And you can keep building up like this and just fill the entire 
thing up until you got a, a hole is entirely full. Look at that. That ain't going to leak. So if you got a hole in, or crack, you know, if it's cracked, a hole on any of your products around the house, whether it's TV changers, whether it's just a kid's toys or whatever, that's a good patch right there. Now, what if I wanted to just stick this on top here like that? I had never tried this, but let's give it a shot. I think it's going to work. Let's put some crazy glue all the way around this thing right here. Where it's going to meet up right here. I'm going to put a little bit all the way around it right here. And right now, of course, crazy glue, it's nothing. It's not It's not sticking at all, right? It's not going to stick. It's stuck to my glove. But when we add, I'm going to put something here and on the outside here. When you add this stuff here, and it might take a little bit to get into it, it's going to instantly harden. There we go. I got it good around it now. Look at that. Solid as a rock now. It wouldn't even stick at first. If I put a little bit more, let's see how much it takes to break. I'm going to put just a little bit more on it all the way around. We'll put another layer on it. We'll drop a couple pieces in here. To harden it in there. We'll put some on here. Just like that. Yeah, you bake it so it's cheap. You can waste a little bit of it. All right, so now it's all in. That thing, look at it. I can't even break it now. That formed a bond. I can't even get it apart now. All right, I'm going to put some super pressure on it. Oh, there it goes. It finally broke. But just to join it together, man, you cannot beat that. And I probably could have left it a little bit longer and left it on it, but it it held. It held good. I can just put this right back on here real easy. Just like this. Take some of this spare on there, put it on there, and it's right back. Not a problem. Anyway, that's a couple good ways to, to fix that. Now let's try one other thing. I haven't tried this before, but let's, it, it works so good, I feel confident it's going to do. Broken piece of porcelain tile. Uh, first thing you want to do is coat everything with the regular crazy glue. So when it goes to harden it, it hardens it from the inside out. So we're going to coat everything. With the glue, make sure it's got a good coat on it. I'm going to go ahead and coat everything here with it. And this one too. So now it's coated good. So now what we want to do, oh, see it's hitting, it's hitting everything down below and trying to harden it below it. Let's see if we can't get in here there before it hardens good. I don't like how that went in. That, that didn't quite get in there good, but you know what? See that crack? We'll go fix it with the crack in it. Just for, for simplicity's sake here, we're going to use it just to seal it up right now. Put a line across here like that. You could have took some more time and got it perfectly even, but we're just, 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 just plain anyway. We've gone through all this on one of these little tiny tubes of glue. Okay. Let's break out the second tube here. We're just playing, just experimenting right now, so uh, we're going to see if it'll hold this together. I, I see right now it's probably going to be, uh, it's probably going to end up gluing it to this paper below me, that's for sure. Because I didn't have anything below it. But let's see how it does. Yep, see the crazy glue went to it, but. We're going to see how it did as far as holding it goes. You want to put plastic down, it wouldn't have stuck to it like that. But look at that. Solid as a rock. It's holding it together. See that? Even though it's got a crack in it, it's holding it together. And uh, I'm just doing it one real quick time. I mean, we can actually come in here and get a little better. A little bit better here. Check it out. It ran through. But... It's not breaking. It's holding that thing together like a rock. The glue stuff, you need to put it on plastic so your paper doesn't stick to whatever you're doing it to. But the, the um, issue here is how solid it is together now. This stuff, this process can heal a lot of stuff around the house. So anyway, just want to show a couple more things on that. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed that little video, and I hope it helps you save that gear of care and save you some money. I'm trying to save you money, so I hope that does that. Um, I hope those other little tips maybe save you some money for around the house, fixing real holes in your stuff that breaks or a little piece of plastic breaks off some of your household equipment. You can fix it right back real quick with that. 
Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed that video. If you enjoyed it, please click like, comment below, share, and subscribe to the Gig Master. All right, thanks for coming along.